I want to just talk quickly about if you listen to the recordings from her uh, that she made, they were intended to control the way the world sees her and uh, as a victim and control the way in which Depp would see himself. You know, if you're vulnerable and people tell you over and over, you're a loser or stop hitting me, even though he didn't hit her, you know, you start to wonder your own reality. Mm -hmm. And that's very common in narcissistic abuse. They gaslight you. You know, they say things and they'll deny saying it. She was setting him up for this. Uh, the sad part is narcissists like to ruin people that they're with. Even they'll bite the hand that feeds them. Look how good he was to her. You know, take the bogus uh, domestic violence claims out of the equation. She She's like living in the penthouses. She's traveling around the world. She's with him on the island. Uh, she, I, I'm sure being connected to him somehow helped her career. Uh, she's got access to the best agents and lawyers and like, but if she's twisted inside and she's a narcissist, she's going to think about how to bring them down uh, and then go on to the next one. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how she got access to some of these like Elon Musk or James Franco. I mean, I saw a video on an elevator where they were together. It's mm -hmm. bizarre. It's bizarre. Here's the point. I'm going to go back to this to anybody watching this. You don't have to be Johnny Depp to get tangled up with someone like an Amber Heard. It might not, she might not look like Amber Heard, but the personality is the same. All right. And if you don't know what to look for or you're not careful, you're going to bring somebody in, you're going to move somebody in possibly, and you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. And we'd like to try to avoid that from happening to you. Um, all right. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's it, any of your audience have seen the movie Gone Girl. It's a movie from maybe 2010 or 2012. It was a Ben Affleck movie. And, yeah, I haven't um, seen it. All right. He's married to a toxic narcissist, and she stages her own murder. Mm -hmm. I mean, she uh, draws blood out of her veins and spreads it all over the floor. Uh, you see a lot of the same similarities in this case completely emotional dishonesty okay in this in the movie and i think in this case uh very calculating diagnosed personality borderline personality disorder sociopathic she was a narcissist in the movie same thing we're seeing here always overreacts projects projection of emotions is extremely exaggerated same here in this depth case i've heard just crazy you listen to the recordings and she's nuts. She's gone nuts and he's got to put up with it. Why? Because he's married to her because he's mm -hmm. married. He can't make an exit or get her out of his life. Uh, I can't I can't stress this enough, guys. Like it, it's it's very easy to march into the slaughterhouse of marriage and it's very difficult to untie that knot. And it, it's it's even more difficult when you're dealing with scenarios like children or if you're married to a psychopath like you know amber turd you're 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 gonna like there's gonna be collateral damage on the way out a lot of it in some cases so why invite that complexity you know if you don't need to i mean you could be with a woman just don't marry her don't don't invite the state into your life don't invite the state to make decisions for you don't you know right don't invite crazy in your life it's like i don't know it's like pay attention guys Right. It's not only about the money. It's also about if you're married, you can't get her out of your living space either that easily. You can get uh, thrown out of your own living space and she stays in it, right? Yeah. There's I've seen all kinds of things that can go. Cases I've seen cases where a guy will invite a single mom who's crazy into a house that he built. Mm -hmm. And he's lived in alone for a few years. And next thing you know, she's getting him out. Uh, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not good. And then you're on the hook to pay for kids that didn't even come out of your nuts. They're right. Some, some other guy's kids. Right? You got it. Uh, manipul manipulative with a lack of remorse, dishonesty, uh, striking charm. Uh, that's that's uh, Amber Heard in this case to a T. Totally manipulated. Yeah, uh, you can see it in the video. It's clear as day. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So here's seven criteria that I picked out uh, that describes these antisocial uh, people. V 
violation of the law. So she's bringing Yorkies into Australia. She's probably done other things uh, that were mentioned in the trial. Deceitfulness, very impulsive. Irritability and high level of aggressiveness. I think the video recordings to date in the trial show that. And she's hitting them and she's just very irritable. Here's a big one, lack of remorse. If you're dating someone and they can never apologize or see what they're doing wrong, that's a huge red flag. Uh, they're gonna do something to you and they could care less. That's a big problem. Uh, consistent irresponsibility. I mean, we've seen that so far in the trial. We've I've seen it in cases, just lavish living off of someone else's back. That's what's going on here. Um, th these are, these behaviors are usually so ingrained that the person accepts them as completely normal and has no desire to change them. That's, that's what we see in this case. That's what you see if you get tangled up with one of these folks. They are never wrong. They just keep doing the same things and you have to take it. Because why? Because you're married to them. I've had cases uh, where the woman will tell the guy, it's cheaper to keep me than, uh, and you know, how do you think, you know, that is just so cruel. They know they're wrong. They won't admit it, uh, but they know the law is on their side. So there's, um, there's a few therapists that I've talked to that have, that have overtly stated that they don't treat people that are diagnosed with narcissism because they're impossible to deal with. Like if, if, if a therapist won't deal with somebody with this condition, why would you marry them? <laughs> right. Think about well, that. Because you're trauma bonded to them. Right. Because your uh, your captain saved them, <coughs> and uh, you feel responsible. Or they say they'll change, but they never do. It's really ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you've never tangled with one of these people, you're not going to be able to believe it. But it's true, and they're everywhere. So, word to the wise. Uh, do your homework and make sure to the greatest extent, extent possible. I know nothing's 100%, but I, I just shake my head sometimes when I see the things people do to themselves. So no. d don't do that. Um, heard uh, former accusations again of abuse against her former assistant. She had a very monotone, dry assistant testify earlier in this case. She paid the assistant $25 an hour uh, to, and she abused her. You know, it was a single mother. It was just terrible. And, you know, if you see somebody treating somebody with that kind of disrespect or abuse, it's just a matter of time before it comes your way. Yeah. Uh, trust me on this. It happens all the time. Um, she said that she was going to donate $7 million, $3.5 million to the ACLU, who was going to make her, you know, their spokesperson for domestic violence and three and a half million to the Children's Hospital of uh, L.A. And the testimony uh, contradicted that she did not uh, donate that kind of money. What a virtue signal, eh? Totally. Being being, being the chairman of a domestic violence <laughs> charity when you're like the fucking poster girl of it, of a fraud. Yeah. Um, she acts with the cameras. If you looked at any of the videos from the trial, yeah. uh, somebody took a picture of her blowing her nose and she waited until she the paused. picture. Yeah, yeah. So the photo op, yeah. 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 Red flag, red yeah. flag. Loves the attention, needs to fight. Um, seeking compassion from the audience. Most narcs, you know, they'll go to anybody that'll listen to them. Woe is me. Oh, I've had such a tough situation. He's such a bad person. Uh, horrible sometimes they change their looks too it's mm -hmm. like a personality thing with narcs they like to change the way they look um yeah it's just incredible what we're seeing and it's such a blessing in disguise because maybe it will educate people around this is real i mean it happens all the time and i'm telling you as a divorce lawyer and someone that's seen this in many cases don't let that be you don't be deaf all right yeah. Um, don't be deaf. There's going to be t-shirts made. Don't be deaf. Yeah. Um, I, I want to just talk for a second about just a different subject. Uh, there was a 
posting done where Jason Sudeikis served his the mother of his child. I don't know if it's his ex-wife or not. Oh, yeah, she was on stage. Yeah. Right. Uh, and just clarify that pro he, she probably refused service somehow. She lived in a gated community or she wouldn't accept service by certified receipt, uh, restricted mail. And you, sometimes process servers don't get paid until they uh, perfect service. So process servers are like honey badgers. They're going to find that person and they're going to get paid. Uh, so they figured out where she worked and they had a server. So she did it to herself by refusing service. Chances are he probably told the process server to serve her from home or wait till she gets home. She, you tell the process server, this is where she lives. This, this, this is what she drives. This is what she looks like. And, you, and these are her hours usually. But if she lives in a gated community or she won't open the door uh, and there's no adult there to accept service, depending upon jurisdiction, they just went to where she worked Here, and here's backfired how, on her. Here's how long drawn out that scenario is, is that Jason was married, according to this Wikipedia page, from 2004 to 2010 to her. And we're in 2022 right now. 12 years later, he's still dealing with this bullshit. And he has to serve her while she's standing on a stage. I mean, right. you know what? Do what you got to do. You know, do whatever you got to do to wrap it up. Right. Absolutely. Now, many custody cases, you're dealing with that stuff until the child emancipates, uh, which in most jurisdictions is the time they reach the age of majority. Then no court can tell them where to be uh, unless they have a special need. Uh, but so the kid turns 18. But in the same jurisdictions, you're still paying child support sometimes until they're 21 or 23 till they mm -hmm. graduate from college. So you have no control over where the kid is because uh, no one can tell them. And you're right. You know, the kid, this could be going on for years. It's very unfair. Mm -hmm. But so if you're going to have children with someone, you don't even have to marry them. This could be you. And the point is, don't let this be you. Don't do that. Don't, vet carefully. Nothing's 100 percent. But you can't imagine these guys are drugged. They're brought back into court or the mother of the child won't comply with the custody agreement and the dad has tickets to take the kid to wherever on a mm -hmm. trip on vacation out of the country and she's got the passport and they and the flight is two days away it's just crazy so yeah. think about it think carefully hey guys i really hope that you enjoyed that short clip if you did consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.